Hey guys, this is Ox from Wilkinson Audio. I'm just going to show you two quick ways in Reaper to do a tape stop effect. Uh, the first way we're going to do it is kind of a fake tape stop because it doesn't actually slow down the audio. It just changes the pitch and that's relatively easy to do. I've made this audio for us to kind of work with. This is a test of a tape stop effect. So we're just going to right click this uh, or the audio you want to uh, do your tape stop on. Go take and then take pitch envelope. and You'll get this blue line. You want to right click the blue line and go envelope defaults, pitch envelope range slash snap. We're gonna change that to custom uh, envelope range and go 24 semitones, so two octaves, or whatever you really want. Um, and then you can just kind of mangle this to adjust the pitch. This is a toast of a tape stop effect. A a a a a so you can kind of get a uh, tape stop effect that way. Obviously you wouldn't have it increasing in pitch, but that's a cool effect too. Of a tape stop effect. Something like that is similar to a tape stop, but not exactly. Uh, I'm just gonna take uh, uh, take this pitch shifting off here, this pitch envelope, remove that. And the second way we can do a tape stop is something that's more along the lines of an actual tape stop, where we're actually adjusting the play rate of the entire project. Uh, similar to how if you do a tape stop, um, you're actually stopping the reels of tape from spinning and it lowers in, in pitch and it gets slower and it stretches the audio out. And we're going to do something similar to that. So we're going to go show master track and then we're going to go uh, to its um, automation settings here and we're going to check off play rate. And now we can modify the play rate. And so we just take the play rate and we just kind of slow it down. So it's at one times play rate here and then we're going to slow it down to say half the play rate of a tape stop effect. Slow it down even more than that. This is a test of a tape stop. So something cool like that. And then we just, uh, to get that, um, it's kind of tricky to do because we actually have to export this, like select the region and then go file render. Because this will slow down the whole song and stuff like that. So this is kind of tricky to perform. Uh, so let's select this region and we have it slowing down this piece of audio. And then we just want to render this as tape stop effect and then you want to add rendered items to uh, your to uh, new tracks in your project then hit render and then it will put it in your project and then the problem with this uh, as you can see is if we play it back it'll be slowed down twice over well it's kind of hard to understand that but anyways you got to get rid of this play rate change so it's back to uh, regular play rate speed and then you'll have uh, this copy which has that effect that we did on it. Of a tape stop. So that's how you can do uh, a couple ways you can do a tape stop effect in Reaper and hopefully that was useful and you can do some cool tape stop stuff now. So cool. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Blah blah blah. Yeah, see you next time.